Hey there, it's Steve from SeriousKeto.com, and in this video, we are going to pit Birchbender's Paleo versus Carb Quick in the Low Carb Belgian Waffle Challenge. But before we do that, if you're interested in keto cooking videos, product reviews, ingredient reviews, or lessons learned from my experience with the ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting, click that subscribe button right down there and click the bell next to it so you're notified every time I drop a new video. I'll be honest, I'm not a big pancake person. I'm probably a little bit more of a waffle person than I'm a pancake person, but honestly, I could live without both which is why I will be bringing my daughter, who's a huge fan of pancakes and waffles, in to help me taste test these after I make them. Now, I'm not gonna take you through the whole making of, I'm gonna kinda go through this fairly quickly because this isn't a recipe video, it's a review. But I will post the ingredients on the screen as I'm whipping through it, and uh, I'll make sure to give you all the macros at the end. This is extremely thick. I think we're gonna have to switch to a hand mixer. On the left, we have the birch benders. On the right, we have the carb quick. All right, they're both done. Let's pop them out and see what they look like. All right, you ready to help me judge this? Yes. Ready. So on the left, we have the birch benders, which okay. is a little lighter in color. And on the right, we have the carb quick, which seems to have, you know, maybe caramelized or something a little yeah. bit more. Looks I kind of, I like the color yeah. a lot more on the carb quick. Definitely. And of course we have our log cabin sugar-free syrup that we enjoy so much and reviewed on the uh, Amazon Prime Pantry video, which I'll link to right up there. Now, unfortunately, they kind of cooled off while we set up the cameras and the lighting, but. Mm -hmm. Let's see how they taste. I'm doing, you're doing birch bender? Okay. Yeah, are you? Mm hmm. I'm gonna wait to say my thoughts until I'm trying Until you do them both so you can compare? Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, the carb quick, it's kind of crumbly. Yeah, it is crumbly. <sighs> Reminds me of like a biscuit from McDonald's. To me, this carb quick tastes closer to like a sugar cookie. Like I yeah, can see making a sugar yeah. cookie out of it. Yeah. Birch benders definitely, definitely seems seems more waffly to me. Yeah. It tastes better. The texture's good. Mm-hmm. This birch benders paleo. 
I bet if I added a little bit of yeast to the recipe mm -hmm. and got that yeasty flavor, this would probably puff up even a little bit more. That's probably a worthy experiment. As for carb quick, probably won't be making any more carb quick waffles, mm. but this experience has me very curious about using it for some biscuits and maybe some cookies or a pie crust. I think the texture just lends itself better to that. So um, I'm still excited to, to continue to work with carb quick. This is my first ever experiment with it. Uh, but if I'm going to do waffles or pancakes, it's going to be birch bender. So I put both of these recipes into Carb Manager to see what the macros are. And if you consider a serving size, two of those quarter waffles. For the Carb Quick, you're looking at three net grams of carbs, so pretty good. 26 grams of fat and 10 grams of protein. So pretty solid by keto standards. Birch Bender Paleo waffles, based on the serving sizes that we selected, you would be looking at 16 net grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein. So kind of high on net carbs if you're doing keto. However, this is the Paleo version, not the Keto version of Birch Benders. I looked up the Keto version of Birch Benders out on Amazon and it has about half the number of net carbs that the paleo version does. So it might be worth ordering that from Amazon and seeing what we think of that because I really did kind of like the, the taste and texture. Yeah, I did too, that was good. I like better than the Kodiak. The Kodiak cakes? Yeah, I like the birch bender better. All right, well, good, because we've got a bag and a half left. Okay. And I probably won't be eating it because too many net carbs. So if you'd like to see more videos where we compare different uh, foods and their keto friendliness, leave a, leave a comment down below. Click a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.